Well, welcome back. It's that time of the year again, isn't it? You know, where I give my end of the year uh, speech and what I've accomplished, we look forward to, blah, blah, blah. You, I think you know the story by now. But, wow, it, let me tell you, this uh, year, 2021 is the year that I'm talking about right now. It went by so fast. I mean, very, very quickly. Every minute of every day just felt like a millisecond. It's weird. But anyway, before I get into the sad, emotional, nitty gritty stuff, um, I do want to say I did finish watching my previous uh, two videos that I recorded. One was last year, then two was the year when 2020 started. And I just can't believe how intelligent I sounded. I mean, all of that still applies to, you know, from this year and moving on uh, forth to the next year. So if you haven't seen the video I made last year about me talking, I really want you to watch it. It's very, very emotional and teary. And I, I think you'll enjoy it. So again, I could repeat all that now, but I don't want to sound repetitive. And I'm going to make sure that I finish my thoughts for this one because I know I was, I, it was a little long and I was just very repetitive. So... Hopefully for this video, I'll sound a little more organized with my thoughts. So 2021 was definitely one of those years where we, it's kind of the year after we got a like pandemic year, I guess is what people would say. I mean, I never wanted to view it that way, but again, it's the, the same, you know, thing that people has been, have been talking about as like the pandemic year. COVID is still a thing. I mean, we have a new strand that's out and, you know, it's affecting, you know, my mom is very concerned about it right now and so are many other people. So it's like, oh yeah. I don't remember when vaccines came out. I'm sure they came out sometime this year. I, I, I don't know, but I, I haven't talked about vaccines before in a reflection video, but they've kind of let loose on some things. So it, it kind of made people, you know, get lazy on like, I guess, wearing masks and things like that. But again, you know, this isn't something I'm like too worried about because I know we're going to get out of this, you know, nice and strong. I'm, I'm rooting for all of us because, um, it's, it's what we got to do. But, um, yeah, trust me, I, I, I think all of us are kind of sick of COVID by now, and it's just to that point where, yeah, none of us want to deal with it. But I will deal with it for as long as I have to in order to successfully climb that way out, and I know you will too, you know, for the people who are watching, click on this video. So I, you know, encourage you guys to keep trenching forward like you have been. You know, if you need a little more, I guess, uh, sincere talk, um, please watch me from last year because... It was emotional, and um, I, I I will say that again if I have to, but then again, I don't want to be repetitive like I am right now. But anyway, I have enjoyed this year, 2021. There have been some ups and downs and things like that. I'm still making that same, you know, trail that I've been the past couple years, which I didn't even realize I was, you know, feeling this exact same way last year and two years ago. Because it feels like I just started feeling these feelings now, but I've had these for a while, so now I'm trying to work on those. But anyway, we're gonna handle this um, end of the year reflection video a little differently from what I've done in the past, just because I wanna make every single one stand out, but at the same time, um, you know, it's just, I have to always look, look back all the way from January and try to, you know, go category by category of what I actually have done from, you know, the past couple of, you know, years. But anyway, I don't mean to sound too generic. I probably, I feel like I'm sounding generic, but I probably don't. I have no idea. I just ramble and hopefully something good comes out, which I think it has. But, you know, don't worry about COVID. Just do your part. You know, I'm doing my part. You know, whatever you think about it is completely up to you. It's up to me, you know, but anyway, we're, I'm sure you're doing your part. I'm sure you're doing a great job. So ever since I made the last reaction video, I have accomplished great things and big things that I've always wanted to hope to accomplish, but still not everything. But again, these are steps of the journey that I have to take that are not going to make sense until I look back on what I've recorded before. But I will start. So back in January, we did this 30-day uh, yoga challenge with my family where we had to um, sit on yoga mats and exercise, I think like maybe like for half an hour every single day. And I ended up, uh, you know, getting... I guess I, I finished first. I was actually the only one who finished within the month. You know, my dad kind of did it, you know, every other day, like every two days, you know, but I was able to do it daily. I mean, I, I fell behind on some days, but I was able to catch up and read that, reach that end goal. And then, you know, my mom and Alana were kind of the same way. It was a great way to start off the uh, year of 2021, and I really, you know, enjoyed that experience. And we might look into something like that again, because I've always wanted to do Tai Chi and things like that. So that might be something that I am really 
looking forward to. So that's one bullet point. Another one is that I have rejoined Akron After Hours back in the spring. Not recently, but back in the spring I did my second set of sketches and I guess what I want to say for that is that I have learned valuable lessons in that team and I hope I get to rejoin and actually uh, uh, this past fall as of the fall 2021 semester you know it was a group of four, four boys but they did an excellent job I had a blessing to get started in some type of sports industry I'm not a big sports guy I'm sorry I mean go Browns but besides that I don't really care much about you know players names or stats just tell me you want and I'm good you know I'm one of those guys yeah <laughs> You're welcome. So every college, and I think Kent State has this too, the University of Akron has this team called, well, they're like the ESPN team. I don't know what uh, formal name we're actually called, but we're associated with ESPN. And we go out and cover footage for um, local college games. So I, had, I got to do volleyball, basketball, soccer, football was this past fall. I enjoyed going to those games. I got to help, out, help film our homecoming game which I was just a camera person. I don't remember what other sports. There was like, oh yeah, baseball, baseball was just kind of like draggy. It was weird. But, um, you know, I, I just got to do, uh, I got to get experience in recording sports games. And, you know, those guys are great. I mean, we, we've done plenty of great things. It, uh... Some things should probably be left private, but let me say I do enjoy the experience and the benefits that you get out of it are definitely worth it. I will say that. Oh yeah, big announcement for this channel. So, last year I had 86 subscribers, and uh, subscriber count, big deal. I mean, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, I, yeah, I, I have a goal. I want to get 1,000 subscribers, but again, it's not life or death about that. If I never reach it, you know, it's not a big deal. But that's just a goal I'm setting for myself to push myself to want to get to that, you know, bigger thing. So, um, last year I had 80... I think I said it already, 80 something. This year, and what I think is crazy, you wanna know the subscriber account I have right now? Drum roll, please. I have, as of this hour, 162. So that is more than double of what I had over a year ago. So I literally doubled in subs over the past year. How cool is that? I mean, I even said, you know, I said this last year, I just want to make sure I keep impacting and being a good influence for people, which is something I just want to continue working on. So I, I think I'm getting better at that, as you can tell. I sound a little more professional, like I know what I'm talking about. Get on in here. What are you doing? I am doing my 2021 um, end of the year reflection video. Oh, hi, guys. Yeah. Are you going to do one? <laughs> Um, no, but I am going to do a reaction video on my New Year's resolutions last year. So when I have that up, Alec will put a link in the description box. Oh, I will now? Probably. I don't know. If he's no, nice I'm enough. Not <laughs> if he's nice enough. <sighs> so, uh, how far are we? How far are we? Uh, I just started. Oh, you just started. Oh, my and bad. you interrupted the vibe that I just put up. I don't know I'm why. sorry. I'm really if you can't tell I'm very short. This You're is not short. <laughs> I'm short. You're taller than me. Okay, so yes. <laughs> I am taller than Alana, but that does not not make her short. There well, are days where I feel short because no, they're, you know, compared to you, I look very short. So if <laughs> get on my level. I will. Cuz you can't get on mine. <laughs> I can't. I have to jump. Yeah, well, you still got up there for a split second. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to do what our heights are, he's the tall one. So, all right, I'll let you go back to your um, your successes and your ups and down things. And uh, I'm I'm doing fa 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 FAFSA application. FAFSA, so, yeah. Fa FAFSA, fa FAFSA, FAFSA. Boy, you know that's fun, huh? FAFSA, fa FAFSA. Yeah, adulting. 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 <laughs> Let's see. So I took more classes, and I could actually probably talk about a little bit about those, but not too much. So in the spring, I took technical report writing, where I got to um, write, I guess, more papers and work in groups to figure out, like, an issue and how to resolve it and how to write technical reports. I, I mean, this is a while ago, so it's hard for me to remember. But I got to work on this one team with of people who they barely did their work. And I had a hard time, I guess, working with that. So then I did biology. Well, biology was a very interesting course because it wasn't something that I was interested in taking when I first took it. But as I look back, I was like, you know, wow, I might be interested in this kind of thing. I don't, I don't think I'm going to ever be a scientist, but 
you know, at least knowing that knowledge, I think is going to benefit me because I love going outdoors. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but you know, one, I, I love going outside and you know, feeling grounded in nature. That's always one of my biggest pluses. All right, so then I took a music course called Bach to Rock, which it is what it is. It's just music history. And then Logic, which which kind of felt like an alternate mathematics, where it's like you had to use like letters and symbols, you know, kind of like when you're proving like, okay, this is true. And then if you had this kind of a relationship, this is either true or false, is this real? I'm trying, oh, is this argument valid, where this is true, this is false, and whatever the symbol is, beneath, you know, and then you have, like, multiple, it, it was, it, it, let me tell you, it was interesting. I returned to goofing off in the spring, and I did a new segment outside of We Ventures called Elec Plays, and, I, and that was, exp it, that was inspired by someone, so the previous, um, after Hours producer before Dylan was Caleb, and he did a segment called Caleb Plays, and I kind of wanted to do that same thing, but didn't know how to do a lot of edits, so... I pretty much did five different, um, I guess, gameplay segments. One of them was My Sim Sky Heroes, Charlie the Chocolate Factory, Fate Extella, Mario and Rabbids, and I can't think of the fifth one. Oh, Pokemon Tournament. That's what it was. Good thing I remembered that. I guess since I had, so this is the first time I got to do gameplays for ZTV, so I enjoyed that experience, and you know, it's actually evolved into something bigger, which we'll get to in a, in a minute here. Um, but that's where it all started, the gameplays. This was also last semester for WZIP Entertainment Unzipped. And I don't know if I talked about this already. I, I think I have. I don't know if I have. But anyway, so we talked about celebrities, music, movies, things like that. Where we were just pretty much either did our own segments and like recorded a scripted uh, message kind of like I do for production. And then I put that on air as a segment. And then we have like a podcast that goes on. Well, that's recorded and then it's like. You know, it goes on the air. But it was on like once a week. At least I had the blessing of being a part of that group. And I have learned plenty of skills from there that I'm going to apply to bigger things. And I'm going to say it was a good experience. We have these things that we just try to work around because, you know, we want to get, you know, better as a department. And as a station too for, you know, it was with the radio station, WZIP. So we just want to get better. And I'm, do I'm still doing great things there. And I'm, you know, going up the ranks as I work up. So next on the list, oh yeah, so this is very important. I don't think I'm allowed to say much about this, but one of my uh, grandpas has passed on St. Patrick's Day. He was kind of like on his last limbs for the past, I think, four years, and you know, his his uh, hourglass finally ran out at around that time. You know, we, we, you know, we're sad for a little bit of time, but I've been able to realize, be like, hey, he lived a great life, and... Um, he's helped me become who I am, he's helped my mom, my dad become who they are, and we're gonna carry his legacy like great people, which I know is what he would have wanted, so there's that. And I, I know I'm only sharing this because I know each of us experience a death in the family or some type of loss, and we all handle it differently. With me, if it's not that big of a deal, I get, I mean, people are a big deal. It, it, it's never easy to lose someone, let me say that. But I guess in the terms of the circumstances and the situations that I've been given and the state that he was in, like he wasn't doing well, there, was, there wasn't much of a chance for him to spring back. So we were kind of waiting, you know, for him to, you know, move on. So I guess in a way, you know, we, it, was, it just gave us the opportunity to just move on, you know, to the next phase in our lives. But I'm sure um, we, we wish him well um, and his, you know, I, I don't know what happens after death, but I hope it's great things. Um, but anyway, so we'll shut the lid on that. Oh yeah. So here's a great one. I got an award for WZIP. So I was pre the spring 21 rising star, which I felt very accomplished for. Actually, I think I have the trophy. I'll be right back. So here's the trophy and my name is right here, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show my full name, but it's right here. It, it's very cool looking, don't you think? It's just got, you know, the, the things on it. And it's a great trophy. I have it on display on my desk. And it's been a blessing receiving this trophy. And it's amazing. I, I really, really, really like it. All right, so I don't know if this is accurate. Well, I don't think it's in any specific order. But I started altar serving at my church. And 
I remember this actually made me more nervous than Cantering did because with Cantering, I've been doing that since January of 2018 and I already just knew the order by heart, but Ultra Servings and so is a lot newer to me. I uh, still try to figure out the order and sometimes I'd sit there and be like, yeah, am I supposed to do something? You know, I just get really flustered and anxious when I'm up there with the priest and the deacon, you know, standing up there during math. I mean, the people don't scare me. I can stand in front of people just fine and just do whatever. It doesn't matter. People don't scare me. It's if I know what I'm doing and I can do it with confidence is what I'm worried about. And that's with a lot of things, but that was one of them. So we have that. And then we have, um, oh yes, 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 yes. So here is one of my biggest projects of all time that I'm still working on, but I started recording this back in May. And this is going to lead to a whole another story, which I'll probably touch on after I finish my list. But if anyone, so goofing off, I have released the first four parts, well not me, but the first four parts of my playthrough of Undertale called Undertale General Survival was a big project that I was working on where I played through the neutral route from start to finish, you know, in a period of like three days. And I've been able to, to edit little parts of stuff and put those on ZTV Goofing Up for people to watch to, to show how I'm able to like act through gameplay. And this is something I just wanted to do because Undertale has such a cool... Uh, storyline and backup instead of characters that I just got really attached to. This has been on my mind, you know, since fall of 20. I mean, even when I did my thing last year, this game, this franchise, and actually Deltarune is what started it. But I'll get to that in a second. Let's just talk about Undertale for right now. It was something I've wanted to do for the past couple of months that I didn't get to for, you know, from since October of 20 until May of 21. That's how long this stuff takes, and I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. We're about to end in 2022. I'm still working on that project. I mean, that's how long movies take. You record something in 2016, you don't see it until 2020. So, but like I said before, with the applesauce, you know, with the big container theory, the bigger value is what's very important, what I believe. So I know that I'm going to look back on Undertale Gender Survival and be super proud with the, with the amount of work that I put into it, with the thumbnails and, you know, it's not just gameplay. It's like I'm trying to like act as a character as I'm you know playing through the game, and I'm going to do that with Deltarune here. Actually, that's why I have this green screen in the first place. I'm gonna like record Deltarune not tonight, but after I'm done with this, I have a lot of stuff coming up that I'll talk about as well. All right, so throughout so in the summertime, I took a social media course and a multi-platform production course, which are both media studies related, and those are both very very fun. I mean and. I, like, I, like I said last year, social media isn't something I tend to like rely on. I mean, minus YouTube. YouTube's great. But I'm, you know, I'm sometimes on Snapchat. I do Twitter. You know, I've been on Twitch before. But it's just, I just don't think I'm like a social media professional as of right now. But it's just something, I, I think because it's just a way that we communicate. And, you know, I still think kind of the same way that I did in the past of how I just don't like the way people are portray portraying things. You know... But I can't do anything about that. I can do, I can control myself, but I can't really control, you know, them. But, um, I, you're right. I'm living in the same world of having to, like, see that stuff over and over again and having, feel like I have to compare myself when, you know, that's something you just got to eliminate, unfortunately. But, you know, the courses, though, I learned a lot from them. And I can't wait to apply this to, like, future media courses in the communication field. Let's see. Okay, so I also started two big journeys during the summertime as well. So the first one was American Sign Language, or... So I learned how to sign a couple of things, and actually, I know, really cool, right? Let's see. Cool, huh? Um, let's see, there's a couple other ones. Let's see. So I can sign, um, like, I know how to, like, point over, maybe, so, you know, sign the air, not sign the air, you know, hair brown, you know, eyes, blue, things like that. You know, I know how to count from one to a hundred, well, count from one to a thousand with my number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, you know, so on and so forth. I've learned that. So I'm I'm becoming more fluent in ASL, so I've, I've taken it for half a year now. I took it starting in June um, to July, took a break, and then started back in August all the way to December, and I've been doing really well in those courses. Um, I've taken ASL 1 and 2 so far. I'll be taking ASL 3 starting in uh, January, and I hope that goes well too, you know, because I think, I don't know, I don't really think this, but they've been heart-strong on the deaf community 
and things like that, which it wasn't something I was like, you know, top notch wanting to study. But I guess since it's like I needed a foreign language requirement and I stumbled across this, it was like, oh, you know, because I feel like I could learn every other language at a later date, but I feel like the deaf people need more attention at the moment. So that's why I'm like, you know, learning, you know, ASL. But anyway, and then another big journey that started um, during the summertime was my psychology journey, which is something I have looked forward to for so long. You know, after I realized computer information systems wasn't my thing after that networking course and, you know, the two before that, but those were fine. I decided to put that on the back burner and go into psych because, and what I've realized is that throughout my whole life, I've always wondered what the other person was thinking or how they able to translate their thoughts into words or how they able to like interpret things. You know, so like, for example, if you're watching me right now, you might be wondering what's going through my head. Like, you know, my brain is like processing information that I can remember and then pushing it out through my mouth to an audience. You know, that was what has always interested me. And like, and I like, literally, I would be like nitpicky about conversations too. So when someone's talking, I always wonder how they would like think so fast since I have to take a long, longer time to like, you know, really work on my uh, speaking, which is very interesting as well. Okay, so there were a couple little things that I just, you know, I'll briefly mention. I got to self-choreograph my very own dance for myself, not for a group, but for, for like, I guess, a minute and nine seconds on a high school stage for the summer dance recital that I was in. And I was super proud. I looked back at it, and I was super proud. I was going to upload it to this channel, but wasn't sure um, if I had the permission to. I just never asked, but hopefully that'll be coming up. Um, if not, no worries, but I'm, I'm hoping that is of right now, but I, I don't know the answer to that yet. All right, so, oh yeah, this is big. This is huge. So I can drive on my own now. That deserves a round of applause right there because this was something that I have been working towards for the past couple of years and never thought I was ever going to get it, but here I am behind the wheel getting myself from place to place on my own. This past week, I was able to go to the store and actually buy my own stuff. I was able to, you know, drive to school every day. All right, school. Well, college. I don't know. I'm just calling it school. It doesn't feel like school to me. But, you know, I, I can just drive. I don't, I don't need my parents to take me places anymore. I mean, granted, I could still lose my license. I could get in a car accident somewhere. I'm not going to. That's never going to happen. Let's not put that out there. You know, but I could lose my license or something could happen. But as of right now, I am doing a great job at uh, driving from place to place and making sure I'm getting to the... Time management's still a thing, but I'm going from place to place in a very time convenient manner. And I'm very proud of that. Oh yeah, so I also got with this uh, casting company where they were working on a film. I don't think I'm allowed to say much here, but I will say this, I think it'll excite you guys. Um, I had the honor to actually act in a live room. Well, not, I don't think I acted. I was the, I, let's see. I was back up. Let's see. How do I say this without spoiling anything? Okay, so I was, let's just say this. I was in a scene with a famous actor known as Adam Driver. Yeah, you heard that right. I was in the same room with Adam Driver, the same guy who played Kylo Ren in Star Wars. I was in an actual room and we filmed, I probably shouldn't say that. I don't want to give away too much, but let me just say, um, that's been an amazing experience to actually get to meet well, not. I never got. I didn't get to talk to him. I didn't get to interact with him. I just saw him, you know, live in person, eye to eye, and I kept my cool. I, for some reason, really, uh, I guess, worry. Like it didn't get me all flustered or anything. I didn't feel anything. I was just like, you know, oh yeah, Tim, you know, because uh, we're we're all people, you know. But yeah, thing is, I didn't want to break his act. But you know, it's just really cool to have that as like. Uh, you know, a thing that I can, like, tell people. I don't know. Because usually when you're, like, in a movie, I don't think you're really allowed to say, you know, when you filmed something. So I'm just trying to be careful. Um, but, you know, I mean, Adam could be in 20 different things. So I could be talking about one thing. I mean, you, you can't really tell just by one actor, honestly. And, you, you know, and good luck finding me in that cast list. I was just, like, a backup for, like, one scene. It wasn't like I had a role or anything, you know. So don't worry too much. Um, you, you could probably catch up to me pretty easy if you're able to, like, sign up to, like, a casting company and then, you know, schedule your days, and yeah, that's, that's all I really did. But, still very, very cool, not gonna lie. Good, good old Dylan. This was Dylan's biggest project during the summertime. We worked on this summer film called Allegiant to None, where, um, Dylan played, 
his thing his name is Nathan Williams and then his sidekick Jessica who played uh, Julia Blair they were on this quest to defeat the evil Benedict Bernoulli played by Brian because um, he was gonna try to uh, change up the corrupt government on some sort or some I'm trying to remember, yeah remember or something like that but yeah it was very very interesting so I got to, I, I only played a scientist but at least I was part of the film he worked tirelessly all summer on it and he had a whole team of people helping him out with that so I really think you should go check out that film I'll leave it in the description below here's another big achievement that I have gotten this past year I finally after so many nerves and so many you know wreckages yeah with mentality and everything I finally became a WZIP DJ and I have shifted once a week so far and this is what helped me speak a lot better. And let me tell you, it was not an easy start, but I was able to um, watch others, learn off of them. I mean, and I didn't have any ideas what I was doing when I first joined. But, you know, after a while, I started getting more comfortable with the mic. Um, and I, I wanted to get my, per like, my iconic uh, on-air personality, I guess, out there for people to listen to because I know I have a very recognizable voice so I wanted to use that for people to you know recognize and be aware of and know so that way I'll get more people tuned in to listen to me you know and I'll have a much better show overall because I'll have more listeners I, I get a lot of calls I do giveaways I do quote of the week I report the weather I um I have this segment called information time but that it's kind of dying at the moment well I might bounce back because I, I think I graduated from scripting word by word to just using bullet points. So I might have a better time with that, but we'll see. I worked on a, I'm working on a sounder for this spring for quarter of the week, and I'm also helping training new DJs. And I met a lot of great people. I think the more you observe others in that uh, space, the more you're going to learn. And that, that's with anywhere, I believe. I was in a singing competition um, down at Garrettsville, and I ended up placing in the top three in the adult category. I, uh, we keep saying that I probably got second because there was one guy that beat me, and that's because he had, a, I think, you know, he had a more fluent, I guess, sound from what I've heard. I'm not entirely sure. But mainly what happened is that after we all got to sing our first, I, so I got to sing two songs for the final round, like the Summerfest, so there was an audition round. Well, let's see, actually, audition round, semifinals, and finals round. So I just sang four songs total for that one competition. Um, so, you know, audition was online, and then semifinals was on a little stage, and at, you know, in Garrettsville, and then finals was during the Summer Fest. And um, after I sang my first song, they announced the winners. They announced me last, but I was first. So I didn't have time to, like, celebrate, like, oh my gosh, I'm in the top three, and then, oh wait, I have to go on? You know, so I didn't have time to prepare, but I jammed and wound up there, and it was fun. I mean... I think we have it recorded, but I don't know if I want to watch it back. But all I know is that I had a lot of fun. And if I do that again this year, I want to actually put on a show with something a lot more creative than just what I had, I guess, during that previous show. But it was fun. Um, and I'm glad I got second because the, the, the first person can't, you know, redo the next year until the year after next year. So they can't come back until summer of 23. So that's a while away. But, you know... And again, it's, it's singing is not supposed to be like competition. It's just something I just, you know, wanted to do just because, you know, you know, first time I get to do, like do in the adult category and things like that, just to work on my voice. Like I said, I still take voice lessons with the same instructor and, you know, I'm doing dancing. I still canter and things like that. It's just little things I'm working on. All right. And then there was another, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I should leave this out for right now. But um, I, I worked with another radio station for two weeks, but couldn't keep up the job because of scheduling conflicts. But hopefully I get back with them within this next year because I want to start networking. As the year winded down to fall, I achieved a couple of other things too. So I started taking communication courses at my university, intro to com, um, which silly easy, I should say. Or I, I, I could probably say this. It's, it's, you know, I barely had to try for that one. I, cause I, it's just the way I was able to just think that way. You know, with what the material kind of like set out. It was just the basic, like, you know, giving information from, you know, gatekeeper to sort or source to you know, gatekeeper and then gatekeeper to, you know, the audience and then, you know, a bias, media, you know, it's basic things like that that everybody, I think, knows. So I'll have fun with argumentation, I think, as well. So then we, I did professional career issues in psychology, which um, I got to explore more in the psychology field on um, what, I guess, the different branches were. And things like that, which I can talk about uh, later, I guess. It was one credit, so it was, like, you know, easy as well. I just had to write, like, journal reflections and then attend extra credit stuff and then listen to lectures, like, once a week on a Tuesday night. It wasn't too bad. It was it was interesting, though, but I, I learned a lot off of it, you know, and I met, you know, great people. 
And then ASL 2, just a continuation of ASL 1 from the summer. And then basic statistics was my big one. Well, not the big one, but one of them. Where I got to learn about um, different symbols. Kind of like logic, but a little more mathematical. Um, where I got to learn about, you know, skew left, skew right graphs, um, bar graph, like different charts and graphs. And when you, when you take a sample survey, since we can't sample everyone in the world, we can take a small sample of something and then go for that and then estimate, you know, or have an, like a, a percentage uh, confidence interval, 68 you know, 95% and 9% numbers, 99%, you know, things like that. Those little things that I learned that I'm surprised I still remember. I mean, I, ha I, I keep the papers in my desk for a reason so I can look back at them. Because I'll probably need uh, both PCI and stats for quantitative methods that I'm taking in the spring. I think that's going to be my hard one. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, honestly. All right, let's keep pulling the phone over. Okay, so I returned to as a student assistant for my dance studio, and I also joined a new ZTV team called ZTV Class Canceled. And let me tell you, this 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 team was a little laid back from what I'm used to, and I think it kind of like cost me a little bit, but I still had fun. So Class Canceled pretty much is, it, it says the title. We cover pretty much, you know, activities or places that we can go to when class is canceled. That's the big motto. So it's pretty much like a vlog team or a vlog. Uh, yeah, vlog team, vlog channel, vlog, whatever you want to call it. Where, yeah, we just go to different places. So, we got to do, and you can even look on the University of Akron YouTube page. Uh, we have at least two episodes out. We recorded a total of five, but only two of them have come out. So, we got to do a vegan episode. So, people, so vegans out there, you know, this is like your, you know, that was your episode. And then we covered uh, the uh, Canal Park, where the Akron Rubber Ducks play. We covered, um, we did a Halloween episode, you know, where I got to dress up in a Luigi costume. And then for, uh, I also did, uh, goofing off. I did, I, I reviewed Five Nights at Freddy's in a Mario costume. So I, I carved a pumpkin as Luigi for class cancel and then reviewed as Mario Five Nights at Freddy's with Goof. So I did both those at the exact same time. So I was like editing a Mario and Luigi video. It was pretty fun. Um, we did a virtual reality episode, which didn't turn out the best, but we kind of like learned some lessons here and there. And then we did, uh, oh yeah, uh, a, a UA at Night special, which I'll get to a, a little bit as well. So I got to assist with actually four live streams throughout the year, but three during this past semester. So in the spring, I did Mario All-Stars, which I got to like do backup stuff for. And then I got to do... I got to play in a Minecraft live stream, which I wasn't too pleased with the presence I had on there, but it was still fun playing the game. There's not much I really got to do. UA at night, I guess, was like a big one for me because I had like a bigger job, but then due to like some actions that I made that I should have known better on, I kind of like got put to a different place without me knowing. So I got confused and it, it, I guess it's hard for me to like communicate like my thoughts and like my feelings towards things, but... We will have a great live show. You know, it's up on, like, you know, the page now. I mean, at least part of it. I don't know if the full thing is going up. But it was still a great live show. It was, you know, you wait at night, and every member of ZTV got to take part in something. So I got to help move the props. So even though that was a little job, I still was part of, you know, the whole team. And maybe that's what I was supposed to handle at the time. But, you know, hopefully they know that I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do bigger things, is what I mean to say. In a good way. I, I want to, you know, get more involved and get bigger and better experience since I'm here because I, I need that I feel and then the last one which was you know earlier this month in Christmas Dark Souls but actually I might get the game for myself because it was interesting um, but you kind of have to like dedicate your swings to that game a little bit because uh, actually so I played with two of my friends on that uh, game at the same time when we were streaming um, and I got stuck on the first boss. I was the last one to beat it, and I I thought I wasn't gonna beat it. But luckily, at the end, we all ended up at the same place towards the ending. So thank goodness for that, right? So I was pretty pleased with the results for that live stream, and I was like, ugh. But anyway, I I still think that was you know an awesome stream. I think it was you know it was weird because like here's a, here's the thing. I feel like. I struggle while everyone else has fun, and then I have fun while everybody else struggles. Not saying I, I love watching people struggle, but usually when they're struggling, I happen to be having a good time doing my own thing. I don't know why. It's like a curse. I, we can never just all have fun together. So I have another announcement that's not very too public, but I think I, I, it's worth mentioning. So I have a new friend. His name is Aaron, and he was inspired to start his very own rock band. You know, rock Christian. 
I would say. Uh, he invited me over to uh, help him out, and right now we're learning some songs. Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day, American Idiot, I think by Green Day, and then High School Never Ends, other, other ones too, I mean great ones, oh wait. Oh, If You Leave my, Me Now by Chicago, great bands. You know, oh, we're also playing through Skylander Spyro's Adventure right now. We already uh, recorded our first part, but I'm still editing it. I want to wait until we finish the game before I start releasing the first part, because that's what I do with like every game so far, to make sure it's going to run smoothly from start to finish, because I don't want to record the first part and then never get back to it, which I have done in the past, but I'm going to see if I can fix those. I've always wanted to be either a director or a producer for ZTV, and luckily I have finally gotten to that point, at least at a starting point. I am the... So I am the new program director for ZTV, and we officially start the first week of January, and I'm not going to... So, what I will be in charge of is I will be in charge of what goes on the live television. I will organize the new shows and programs to their dedicated times. And I think that's going to that's gonna be very exciting, because I at least get to be in charge of something. But what I'm trying to work towards is trying to manage, you know, people. So, I have a GPA of 3.9 right now. I can't believe I have actually, actually because I got like all A's this past course, or well, this past semester, because I took mainly easy courses and the, you know, I didn't have a single, you know, all, all the professors were like the nicest people in the world. So all I did was just work hard. And that's all that really anybody has to do. And you know, grades don't like really define you alone. So don't worry about that. But it's something I, you know, I feel very proud of as well. So I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am a media and psychology major. I have two majors. I'm a double major for right now. And I plan to be that way until the end. We're almost done. I know I've been blurbing out for like, you know, the past hour. You've probably skipped around a couple times or you've listened for the whole hour. You know, great job you've made it this far in the video. I'm proud of you, you know, without cringing. But anyway, there's one last thing that I think is, you know, big for this channel and for me. So I have started working on my ELKF costume and my other mascot. I've, I've started drawing them. I, I, I'm really pleased with the way that they're starting to look, and I can't wait to officially like, start wearing it once I get the materials. It might be a while before I start making it, but it's started. The process has started, ladies and gentlemen. Are you excited? Anyway, if you haven't seen my last year video, please watch it. You know, If I didn't say that stuff last year, I would say it right now. And honestly, if you watch this and thought, you know, wow, this guy is doing a whole lot. I'll never be that good. Stop, get that out of your head, yes you can. Because I remember there are days where I thought, man, I'm never gonna be worth anything because I can't be like everybody else. Or I just can't stand people because they can't think for themselves. Or um, no matter what I do, it's not gonna be enough. I mean, I've even said that last year too. I, I still, to still this day, week by week, I have my whole planner like every day is filled out now. And I still feel like I haven't done anything. But I don't know if that's because, you know, time's just gone by so fast, or it doesn't bother me as much as it used to, because I, I didn't have any hard courses to where it just went fast. I'm actually doing things that I enjoy. It, it just feels like time's going a lot faster. So, and, and that's a blessing that I just had, you know, these past couple of months that I've been able to get out of that zone. I mean, last year I just got out of, like, that networking course that has been, like, a big nightmare. It's, like, drained me entirely. But, I'm looking forward to helping people. I'm looking forward to a brighter future, and I'm looking forward to revamping everything that I may have missed out on in the past couple of years. I, I want to thank you guys for listening to, you know, my long hour talk on the whole year. Just go day by day, you know, have a list of goals, set some dates you want to have them done by, make sure you do your work, and find something that you're going to be really, really attached to, and it will, you know, your heart and your mind will carry you the rest of the way. But anyway, I want to leave you on that thought. Thank you for listening, and I will see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye!